first responders have a new tool to help them better help people who may be in need of special assistance. They're using new stickers to alert them about someone in a home or a car who may have autism, Alzheimer's, dementia, or another developmental disability. It's called the First Responder Awareness Sticker Program. Sergeant Michael Montz is with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office Missing Persons Unit, and Shannon Nelson is with Jacksonville Fire Rescue Department. Joining us this morning to explain how all of this works. Good morning to both of you. Thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Sergeant, if I can start with you. First, why is this so important, the sticker program? Well, with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office and with the Fire Rescue Department, you know, we're always looking for ways to improve. We're always looking for ways to serve our public better, our community. History, a little brief history, you know, we started years ago with a uh, search engine called MEPSAR, Missing Endangered Persons Search and Rescue. That is a highly successful program in finding those lost and vulnerable when they go missing. We said we can do better, so then we went into what's called the revamp, which Shannon will talk about, and we can do better. So what's next? We're, we saw other agencies using it. We said, why not have a first responder awareness sticker program to alert first responders in when they're approaching, arriving at scene, stuff like that, if somebody with those special needs might be present. How does that help first responders knowing that information? Well, I mean, there, there's a lot of key elements. It could be safer at a crash scene, a child with autism. It's a traumatic experience for anyone, but especially someone with autism, and they could be in a crisis moment. And that sticker would make that first responder aware of, hey, this individual is having a crisis moment, and they can adjust their approach and how they deal with it. Because that person's response might be different, and they might respond to the first responder differently than maybe someone else. Correct. And so would you explain, you've got the stickers there, would you explain how it works? Yes, ma'am. The stickers were designed to just to, it, it's to alert first responders. It's not to alert the public or anything, just first responders. The stickers are used to go on residences in a visible spot and on the win rear windshield of a vehicle. And the stickers are then present, they're reflective, so flashlights at night, they'll be able to see them. And it's again, it's just to alert that first responder so that they can adjust their approach. So, Shannon, let me bring you into the conversation because this is really a broader topic, right, about yes. people in our community who have special needs who might react differently than one might expect in, in an emergency situation. Would you explain what REVAMP is in case our viewers are unaware and they'd like to enroll a loved one? So REVAMP is a program that we created along with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. It's part of um, our special medical needs registry. It's a tier under that. It's called, it's, REVAMP stands for the Registry for Endangered, Vulnerable, and Missing Persons. Hmm. And so we noticed a need in the community um, with the part of the MEPSAR process where um, we could get the information to the first responders when um, these individuals with cognitive and behavioral issues um, when they go missing to get the information quicker to them you know pictures places that they frequent things like that because they're prone to elope they're prone to wander and lose sense of time and place so um, we wanted to get the information quicker so we monitor these calls and we and when we notice that hey someone in this registry we, we have the information we get it to them quicker well and and that information is critical in maybe finding because it really it was designed for people of cognitive yes. Alzheimer's and cognitive dementia yes. correct yes. and and because they might be drawn to certain parts and certain areas so you want to yeah. find them quickly so getting so the family is not scrambling to find this information for responders finding a picture find you know giving the, the responders a list of information Information, where they may frequent, you know, where they old addresses that they lived at, things like that, you know, where they may want to go back to or they're trying to, to get to. We have that information readily available so you're not scrambling in that moment where you're already under stress if the family's under stress. And there's stress. been a lot of success. Yes, MEPSAR yeah. has had a lot of success. You know, the Sheriff's Office has worked with our special operations team and, and diligently for, I think it's been four years now. Um, building on that success and revamp has enhanced that and now this this program will just continue to do that so how does so three stickers are issued correct and sergeant would you stickers. explain explain that then yes anybody with that cognitive disability the autism dementia Alzheimer's they can contact the sheriff's office missing persons unit at 904-255-2712 or they can contact the watch office and 
It's 904-255-3172. That's a lot of information. We'll put it on our, on our website. Orangejacksready.com, yeah. okay. yes. and they can register that way. We encourage them to register for revamp, and then we will mail their stickers to wherever they want to mail to. And, and if you're not fit, so, so can you enroll in revamp and the sticker program then all at the same time? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes, absolutely. Great. And then is there any reason that, you know, there's a privacy issue or anything of that nature for anybody who is concerned about registering, you know, a loved one? Or, no, yeah. yeah. No one accesses this information. It's, we're, we're HIPAA compliant, we're CJIS compliant, um, and we only access the information if your loved one were to go missing when that call is, when that call comes in and we're searching that registry for that name and that is it. Yeah, it's the only it can be a very stressful that. time too. The fact that you have all of the information then helps also the family members who are really just maybe in crisis themselves because they're so worried. Absolutely. You're calling 911. We check, we cross-reference that. We give it to the, the, right. the responders on scene. Shannon, thank you, Sergeant. We appreciate you and and we'll certainly post this interview later on uh, th this morning on our website in fact newsforjax.com if you'd like to learn more thanks again we Thank appreciate you, you.